and welcome to my Summerween reading vlog. It is day one of Summerween. Well, actually, it's pretty much evening here now. It's almost nine o'clock. Um, I was sprinting for the last, I think it was like last four hours on Katrina's channel with Katrina, obviously, Lexi, Michelle, Monica, and Gabby, and then myself. I was on there too. Um, I'll link the video and their channels down below. I believe most of them are also doing Summerween vlogging, but I was reading Kill River. This is my first book. This is the book I'm reading for the slasher prompt, and I am on page 140. I'm almost halfway through. I'm enjoying it. So far, it's very um, 80s B-horror movie-esque. The one thing that I'm like a little bit I don't know if I'd say annoyed with. Um, I guess I didn't realize on the back it says that they're 13 and 14 years old. Like the main character Cindy is 13. And the the kids that we're, we're focused on are 13 and 14. And I guess I just really didn't realize that they were like 13 and 14. So some of the, some of the scenes I'm a little like... Mm, I mean, they're not like super bad. They were just talking about like... Um, two of the characters like sneaking off and like it I like I know that they're like teenagers but like 13 and 14 it just made me like <laughs> I guess I'm old now because at 27 I think that 13 and 14 year olds like literally sneaking off to be doing things is just it's just a little it's just a little young so I was like oh okay Okay, um, I guess I just didn't realize they were 13 and 14. I thought they were 16 years old or something like that. Um, but, you know, so far it, it's fun. It's very um, cheesy, very silly, very 80s horror. So if you like that campy 80s horror vibe, I think you'll enjoy it. Um, I'm enjoying it so far. It's fine. It's taking kind of a long time to get to, like, the meat. Um, I'm at page 140, like I said, and we just got to them discovering the water park, which I feel like is kind of like a long time to, you know, get there. But yeah, I mean, I'm enjoying it so far. I'm having fun with it. Definitely had fun on sprints, so that was great. I'm going to continue reading this book. I'm hoping to get this read tonight and finished but we'll see. Um, I, yeah, I mean, you know, for the first, uh, book of Summerween, I'm having fun. I'm enjoying it. I'm liking it. Uh, we'll see how it, we'll see how it goes, though. I, I wanna, I wanna get to the more meaty parts of this slasher, and then I'll, I think I'll have a better understanding on how much I like it. And that's it for the check-in so far. It's day one, book one. I'm just gonna continue reading, and I will either update you when something really major happens or if I finish the book. So I'll check in whenever something happens. to day two kind of um it's actually almost 11 o'clock at night um so day two of summerween is pretty much over and i haven't really checked in but that's because i haven't really read today so this morning slash afternoon i finished kill river you saw some uh footage of me like reading this i did end up finishing it i i don't know how i feel about this i liked it because it's a campy 
B movie. I think it's weird that the characters are 13 to 14 just because I personally think that's a little too young. I don't really see a lot of slashers where the kids aren't like actual like 16 to like 20 year olds. So this for me was just like a little weird. Some of the scenes with them because they're so young feel a little uncomfy to me again I don't know if that's because like I'm old or something like I feel like I'm really old thinking that but I just felt uncomfortable that they were so young and like some of the scenes it just like was weird to me I don't know maybe I'm reading like too much into it I'm I don't know but my other thing is the ending is so odd and I can't really go into detail about the ending because it would give some of it away like how the book ends but it's almost like nothing happened like to me it feels like everyone's just glossing over everything that happened like oh all this occurred okay mo moving on like it just feels like no one's talking about the fact that this happened and it's so bizarre to me it felt like such a weird ending <laughs> I was sitting there like, wait, does no one care that, like, this occurred? Like, we're just gonna pretend it never happened and move on and, like, exist and just, like, forget? I, I don't know. It was so, so bizarre to me. I think it's a little too long. The first, like, 140 pages have nothing going on. It takes them like 140 pages to get to the water park that's too long in my opinion for a slasher i like my slashers to be quick and to the point this is a little draggy for me um the age was a little odd to me maybe i'm the only one i don't know it just felt a little weird and then the ending was just kind of like <laughs> okay this happened the end move on and i was like oh okay it was fun i enjoyed it would i get the other ones probably it was fun i just don't think it's like the best slasher i've ever read it's nothing like mind-blowing it's nothing wild i honestly don't even think the kill scenes were like that incredible like yeah they're pretty like gory but like nothing nothing out of the ordinary for me so this is kind of just like a standard 80s b horror movie slasher campy thing you know what i'm saying like it's just it's just a typical thing i don't think this did anything like mind-blowing um, but it was fun, and so it fulfilled my slasher prompt, which I am happy about. So I actually haven't read that much today. It is obviously nighttime, like I said, it's almost 11. So I know it's not in my TBR, and I know I'm, like, going off my TBR, obviously. Who am I? Duh, whatever. Like, are we surprised? I'm gonna read Dead Silence by S.A. Barnes, and... By going to read, I already started it. I'm, like, 70 pages in, and I'm reading this for my, like, reading in the dark or at night thing. It's already at night. I'm gonna try to read like actually in the dark um, and have some footage of me like reading in the dark because I think it would be like spooky and fun. Honestly, I'm not like obsessed with this. <laughs> it's kind of boring. <laughs> um, I'm not really a sci-fi horror kind of gal. Um, so this isn't really like my kind of book, but I kind of want to read it anyways. Um, it's just kind of boring. I don't connect to any of the characters and I don't really like care <laughs> about anything that's going on. Um, but things have just started happening. So I'm going to give it a little bit longer to decide if I want to like DNF or anything. Um, but yeah, it's like fine. It's whatever. It's not really like my kind of vibe, but I'm going to try to read it because it's, I don't know. It just, in the moment I picked it, that's what happened. I'm rolling with it. So, um, yeah, this is my in the dark at night prompt and I have my chai tea in a spooky mug, which I am counting for my, um, making or baking prompt. I didn't technically make this, my partner did, but <laughs> do I really care? I'm counting it as my making or baking a spooky treat and a spooky mug it says cold brew coffins and covens spooky autumnal drink i think it counts so other than that that was my saturday i didn't do much we're watching 90 day fiance and i'm just gonna read dead silence i'll let you know if i dnf <laughs> or if it gets more interesting but as of right now that is the update so yeah i will let you all know if something else happens.
happy end of Summerween day three because it's 8 p.m. <laughs> and I haven't checked in yet. But it's Sunday, so it was my filming day, so I filmed a video earlier. And then all the other part of my day was just finishing up Dead Silence. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't really care for this book. I thought it was pretty boring. The whole explanation for everything that was happening is just kind of not my vibe. It's not my thing. I was just kind of disappointed, so that was frustrating. I didn't really care about any of the characters. I was kind of like disconnected and disinterested in them. This just wasn't my thing. I'm not a sci-fi person. I'm not a sci-fi horror kind of gal, so I just think this isn't ki my kind of book. However, I do think I'm going to pass this on to Justin, my partner, because he likes sci-fi and um, he said he was interested in this, so I think I want him to read it because he will probably like it way more than I did. So yeah, this was not my favorite, not like super happy with this one, but you know, you win some, you lose some. I had a feeling I wasn't going to love it because it was sci-fi, so uh, you know, what can you do? Yeah, the day is pretty much over. Justin has to work tomorrow and I have to edit tomorrow and I'm doing <laughs> reading sprints on Lexi's channel, I believe. So I don't know how much more reading I'm going to do tonight. I think we're going to watch a movie because I'm in a big movie mood right now. I want to watch like a scary movie. I don't know what we're gonna watch, but I think we're gonna watch a movie next. Uh, the book I want to start next though is probably going to be Geek Love by Katherine Dunn. This is my Halloween colors cover. Um, I'm using Dead Silence as my reading in the dark, even though I read at night and in the dark pretty much every day. But I'm going to uh, probably start Geek Love next. I'm very interested in this one, nervous. I'm scared this is gonna be more like literary, thought-provoking kind of stuff and that doesn't always work with my brain and how I think. So I'm a little bit worried, but everyone really likes this book, so I'm hoping that I like it. Um, but yeah, this will probably be the next one that I start. I don't know how much I'll read tonight. If I do read some tonight, you'll probably see me, you know, in some clips reading. If I don't read any tonight, I'm gonna check in with you all tomorrow and I'll let you know. Um, but tomorrow I'm gonna be editing and then doing reading sprints, like I said. So I will be reading some tomorrow, but yeah, that's the update I have. Uh, yeah, I know. I feel like I'm kind of boring in this vlog. I haven't really done much, but I'm just trying to get these books read because I really want to like succeed into this readathon. I want to actually do it. So I'm like trying to really focus on reading and reading these books. So yeah, that's my update. I hope you all are having a great Summerween day three or had one since it's nighttime, but you're probably seeing this after Summerween. So I hope you had a good Summerween, you know, whatever. Anyways, I'll see you in my next check-in.
much the end of Summerween day four. I love how I'm checking in at the end of the days, but honestly, it's just easier for me. Today is Monday. I had a busy day. I edited a video, which you will be seeing tomorrow, aka Tuesday, which this video will be after that video, but you know what I mean. After I was done editing, I did some reading sprints on Lexi's channel, and there was a bunch of people there. Monica was there, Michelle was there, Katrina was there, Gabby was there, Rye was there for a little bit, um, and then of course, you know, me and Lexi, I just said that because I was there and it was on Lexi's channel, you know. I'll have both of the reading sprints uh, that I did on Friday and today linked down below as well as everyone's channels. That way you can go subscribe and check them out. But as for the book, part of the update, I started Geek Love by Katherine Dunn. I'm like almost 70 pages in and I don't think I like it so far. I mean, look, it's it's the writing and I don't mean it in a bad way. Like the writing is like nice. It's just for my brain, it's not working. Like it's, it just is like my brain's not processing it correctly. And I don't know if it's like the time or like if I'm just not feeling this book, I don't know what it is. I'm just not really interested. Picking it up doesn't sound that fun. So I'm worried I might have to DNF. I don't want to DNF, <laughs> but I might. I'm not having good luck with books uh, so far this summerween. I mean, Kill River was good, but Dead Silence I didn't care for, and this one's not really working, so I don't know what to do. I don't know if I should DNF and start my other book, or DNF and start another book, or what. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I'm gonna think on it, but um, yeah, that's the update, what I've been doing today, where I'm at in my summerween plans, and yeah, I'm gonna chill out because I'm very tired. I've been doing a lot, so yeah, I'm gonna go. That's the end of my check-in for Monday. I will see you all Tuesday and decide if I'm gonna continue with this book or read something else, so I'll let you all know tomorrow. <laughs> I'm literally recording and we're both just laughing. That's all it is. Yeah, this is fine. Okay. <laughs> wave at the camera. Just wave at it. Okay, just wave at it. There you go. <laughs> friends long time no see it is thursday it is the last day of summer ween and i know i haven't talked to you guys since monday i think i haven't checked in since monday and i'm really sorry about that 
but honestly I was doing so much this week I was on a ton of sprints I was trying to get these books read so I have a lot of like little footage for you all to look at but not a lot of talking footage from the last few days so um yeah but I actually finished all the books and I'm gonna try to get this vlog edited today so you can see it on Friday which is tomorrow <laughs> this has been a very hectic readathon for me um vlogging it was a lot of fun but it also added kind of another layer of I don't want to say stress but just like another layer to the readathon and um I didn't anticipate it being so much work to vlog my experience doing this readathon but it was a lot of work I'm exhausted and reading four books was a challenge honestly like it really really was a challenge to read these books so last you all heard I was in geek love not in the middle I was gonna say in the middle of geek love but I wasn't really in the middle of geek love I made it to page 1 103 104 I'm this far into it and I decided to DNF geek love and I have mixed feelings about this book because it's not bad like I actually really enjoy what the book is trying to do and I like where it's going my problem with this book is it is very dense it is so dense for me and I am having trouble focusing on it I'm having trouble sitting down and reading it I'm getting distracted it's just so much like effort to read this book i did expect that this book was going to be like that it's um a little more literary than i typically tend to read in horror literary horror is amazing and it's beautiful but i am just not great at reading it um so <laughs> this falls into that category and i i knew that going in so i was a little wary um in the beginning but i gave it my best shot and i just can't i can't get into this book i don't want to fully dnf it and never pick it up again i do want to maybe try again later um maybe without the pressure of a readathon and like the pressure of like vlogging every single day and all the time you know maybe if i have less pressure and it's like less you know intense i can focus on reading this book so after dnfing geek love i went on to the haunting of las lagrimas and i finished it last night at 2 30 in the morning i have mixed feelings about this book if you love gothic horror like true gothic horror i think you'll enjoy this my problem with gothic horror and I know this every time I go into it it's just usually too slow for me and I have a very big issue with gothic horror being way too slow um I don't mind a little bit of slowness I don't like a little bit of like atmosphere building and creep factor building but this was just too slow too slow and honestly this didn't do much for me it didn't really like spice up the typical haunted estate haunted you know place it didn't change enough for me to be like wowed by it it felt very standard it felt very typical um nothing too like wild or crazy about this one um there is quite a bit of animal like death scenes i think there were like three maybe four and i wasn't really a big fan of that so just be mindful of the fact that if you don't like animal death scenes there are at least a few in this book um but you know it wasn't a bad read it was pretty fast in the sense the chapters were really really like quick they weren't very long they were easy to like get through um but i was having trouble staying focused with this book like when i was focused i was pretty into it but then when i wasn't focused i wasn't very into it so i don't know this was just average for me mexican gothic will forever be my favorite gothic horror novel as of right now nothing tops that this doesn't come close in my opinion i think i might prefer the hacienda to this one because at least the hacienda had a romance aspect that i was 
invested in and what kept me going in that book so for this I would say this is my least favorite out of the three I think as of as of right now I think if you like gothic horror a lot it's like one of your favorite subgenres, and you like the haunted estate trope and you want to read a book set in Argentina which this is I think this could be a good one for you to check out um it just wasn't quite what I wanted it to be so let's do a recap of the books I read for Summerween. I'll give you my tentative star ratings. So first up was Kill River for the slasher prompt. I enjoyed it. I thought it was too long for a slasher. I thought it was a little weird that the main characters were 13 to 14 and it just wasn't anything like super crazy in my opinion. It was just like a typical slasher it was fun it was enjoyable but it wasn't anything like mind-blowing i think i'm gonna give this one a 3.5 one was fun it was enjoyable it was probably my favorite out of the four that i read dead silence wasn't a big fan of um i don't really care for sci-fi i was hoping this was gonna be one to change my mind but it was not i think the romance was very weird and lacking in my opinion it was it just shouldn't have been there because it it wasn't really there was no point to it so I don't really know why I was there the ending was annoying and I couldn't connect to any of the characters this wasn't a favorite of mine I'm gonna give it like two and a half stars I think geek love a great premise a great idea too dense for my liking at this moment in time DNFing it for the moment oh I forgot to mention dead silence is for reading at night or in the dark Geek Love was for Halloween colors on the cover, obviously. And lastly, The Haunting of Las Lagrimas. I'm giving, I think, a three. It's a standard gothic horror haunted estate type of book. Had a bit of animal death, which I wasn't a big fan of. Wasn't anything wild or crazy or different. Um, just pretty standard in my opinion. And yeah, it was just, it was overall fine. It had nice short chapters, but nothing... Um, nothing compared to Mexican Gothic in my opinion. I still prefer that one um, as of now. And that's it. That was my first time participating in Summerween, my first time vlogging Summerween, and I think it was pretty successful. I was a part of a lot of sprints and hanging out with a lot of different people and you know it was just a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun sprinting and hanging out with everybody and talking about the books and just like having these prompts. It was a lot of fun. I'm glad I was able to somewhat actually you know do this correctly. I will definitely try to participate in the future and um yeah I just had a lot of fun. I hope you all had fun if you participated. I hope you had fun watching this vlog. I hope it's not too boring or too like annoying. I know it was kind of all over the place but this readathon was kind of all over the place for me. Um, so I hope you had fun watching this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. It lets me know that you enjoy this kind of thing and you want to see it from me again in the future. Feel free to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. We can become friends, talk about books, horror books, spooky books, scary books. That's like all the same thing romance books, thrillers, manga, all kinds of things. With that being said, I hope you are having a great day, night, morning, afternoon, wherever you are, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.